trying to say how many people, uh, how many people <coughs> will come in on this right here. Trying to invite some people. <sighs> All right. All right. See, I like inviting people, man. Just to see who really comes on here and kind of like, you know. Who's, uh, you know. Paying attention out here, B. All right, man. I'm going to stop inviting people right now. Oh, wait, man. Let me get them. Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, what up, though? Let me see if I can get some more people in here right quick. Because I want to just, I, and you know what I'm saying? I ain't, ain't about to be no black women bashing because you know a lot of black women get black bashed enough uh and this is from a post i posted earlier um <clears throat> on the on the social media of course uh and the posting had to do with uh you know it's been a lot going on man you had like uh niggas like dwight howard uh i think it was some local nigga in uh indianapolis naptown all day that's getting exposed for being a uh, being a homo thug, I guess. I don't know, but only put part of this is part of the title. All right, so the reason why I bring this up, man, is because what 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 you know. I'm just gonna go right in, man. I don't I don't, I don't care who's really in here right now. I mean, I do I appreciate all y'all. Now yeah, holler at my nigga uh, Nate Robinson, man. Support, you understand? Uh, let's see. Uh, Sh Sharina, Antonio, what up, though? All right, so this is what I'm saying. Black women, black women are the only ethnic group that supports this type of behavior, man. I'm just going to put it out there, man. Black women are the only ethnic group. When I scroll down my timeline... And see, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to wait for like those that commented on my post earlier. I want them to come in, but they, they may or may not. But I'm not even trying to argue. I'm not trying to be combative. I'm not trying to do none of that. What I'm saying is that when I scroll down my timeline, you understand what I'm saying? When I see people that are, and we'll just say transgender, man, all right? Because I just don't want to say gay because like now, now it's to the point where being gay, like you got options. <laughs> you 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 don't you don't just have to be gay. You can be bisexual, you can be transgender. So if you someone who uh is, you know, gay, quote unquote, there's options, man. And then, you know, like I said on my like I said on my timeline. <laughs> black women are the only ethnic group that supports this behavior. And I'm talking about now, now they support it until they get caught up in something where a dude doing another dude, and then it just so happens to be your dude, and then you want the whole world to cry and, and feel sorry for that shit. But then I can go down my timeline, man, and I can see different females supporting, you know what I'm saying? Someone who's transgender or bisexual, like, like black women really don't understand the power they have, man. Y'all have the power to switch this up. Y'all have the power to not support it. You understand what I'm saying? And the, and and what's crazy was, man, females, the females that were coming on my post, I see none of these people checking these females that condone this behavior. You understand what I'm saying? I see none of this. And that's my problem. 
Like, we are the only ethnic group, man. Now, first of all, when it comes to being gay and the transgender, like, when it comes to black people being in this category, like, black, it's, it's overly flamboyant with this, all right? It, when you pay attention to white people or any ethnicity that is claiming to be gay or transgender, man, you don't really see them being publicized like that. How many people, you scroll down your timeline right now, and how many Hispanic people you see supporting bisexual or transgender or being gay how many how much do you see that and i'm not saying they don't i'm saying they have a code see they have a code when it comes to this type of of of, of category you're not gonna see a lot of hispanics white people you scroll down any anybody's timeline who you see going ham on this shit is black people black women you know what i'm saying that this look man you can't have you can't walk the fence man you can't say i support this but then you don't really like it when it happens to you you understand what i'm saying like if you bisexual man you if you want to be who you want to be i'm not saying you shouldn't do that i'm just saying man you can't really be out here publicizing this type of behavior and condoning it but when it happens to you and you catch something or your girl ends up getting a dude that like dudes and been in dudes and then come back and try to do you it don't add up man and a lot of you can go down my my, my page man you can see where i posted this and you can read the comments it's black women on there a black woman is a, a woman on there black woman on there talking about she thought donald trump made some bogus statements what statements am i saying are bogus you got when you got women out here that are talking about they ac accepted and, and expected you understand what i'm saying and part of the problem is that man it, it, it we don't see black men and women man we don't sit down and have discussions about none of this you know what I'm saying? I'm down for it because I'm not trying to argue. See, like, you tell a black woman anything right now, man, they just, like, nigga, what? Nigga, what? Nigga, 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 what? Nigga, I ain't got to listen to you, nigga. Like, I mean, I, they ready to go in. We don't have enough talks. We don't have enough talks when it comes to black men and black women. We don't have a code. You understand what I'm saying? We don't have enough black women out here that are checking this stuff. We don't have black women out here that are checking these dudes that like dudes and then try to come back to their woman. We got too many women out here that support this type of behavior until it happens to them. And this is this is my problem, man. It's like you can't be out here talking, telling a black man like I'm both. Man, look, man, go down my page and read and read that, man. Black woman, I can't remember the sister's name right now, but she's saying I was making bogus remarks, trying to make me into some type of comparison of Donald Trump. I'm like, man, what statements am I saying that are bogus? You know what I'm saying? You you got black women out here. Now the black women that commented on my page, they said they they don't, you know, they don't condone it. And I feel them on that, and that's what's up. But at the same time, though. It's like, if you don't support that, then I need you sisters that don't support this type of behavior. Because that's all was all on my timeline, man. It was black people. It was niggas up here. Where the video? Where the video? Where the video? And at first, I was like, man, uh, I was like, ah, shit, somebody's getting exposed. Let me see the video. And then, come to find out, it's a dude getting exposed for being with another dude. I'm like, nah, I'm not trying to see that. But, but still... There was people that were sending subliminal messages, people that were dropping comments saying basically that you can be who you want to be with. And if you bisexual, if you transgender, you know, this, this and this. I'm like, man, come on, man. Come on. See, it, it ain't been enough OGs and enough old aunties and old grandmothers and enough women to give other women real game, man. 
We, we, we are out of control with having no code. And like I said, there's no other ethnicities that are doing this type of shit, man. No other ethnicities. There's no other eth ethnicities that I see on my page. And I have Hispanic. I have Indian. I have, um, I'm talking about in Indian with the red dot and feather. You understand what I'm saying? I have many people on the pages on my on my social media page. And I do not see this type of behavior from them. I don't see it. it, it guys, these, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. And black women can change this. Black women can change this overnight if they wanted to. Black women can change the behavior of a lot of things. Just like I had a conversation with a female, you know, a few years back. And we were talking about black women getting perms. And I always was a person. I've been talking this for almost 10 years, saying that perms do something to black women's minds. You understand what I'm saying? And I had a black woman, a black woman basically, you know, tell me that she gets a perm because that's what men like to see black women with straight hair. And I'm like, no, I'm like, no, if black women, if you had a thousand black women in one in one place at one time and they all had natural hair. Black men ain't got no choice but to talk to you. So imagine if it's a hundred thousand, a million black women with, with natural hair. Black men are going to naturally gravitate towards y'all now. Was but the problem is that you got too many of these niggas out here that want to be uh, dipping off with something exotic, quote unquote, it's, uh, Kardashian and all this other stuff. And that's what I'm saying. That's the problem, yo. Black women control a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? If y'all wanted that to stop, that can stop overnight. You understand what I'm saying? But it's like you can't have you can't have black women. You can't have your your hair looking done and your body looking crazy. It's it's women out here that are going hard in the paint in the gym, and they just so happen to have straight hair. But the point is, the point is, is when she when she told me that. I start thinking to myself, man, that black women don't know the power that they have, man. If you don't, if you, if you condone, if you condone someone's behavior out here that is destroying the black man, then how can you be the solution to the problem? I'm going to say it again, man. If you are the cause or the, or, or someone who is, is putting in on the destruction of black men, how can you be a part of the solution when you're a part of the problem? I mean, damn, man. Like I said, man, there's no other. If somebody can find me other ethnicities out here that go hard and, and be on the timeline talking about, I don't care if you boss. Because the problem is, man, a lot of black women have gay friends. And I get it. I get it. But should you be condoning that, though? Should you be now? It's a difference. Like it's a difference between, you know what I'm saying. You look in the, you look in the, you look at the white co uh, culture, man. I'm always gonna bring this up. Doogie Hauser, nigga. Doogie Hauser. Doogie Hauser. That nigga. That nigga's gay in real life, but he when when he's hosting the war shows, you would never think that this dude's even gay. What's his name? Um, what's his name? Um, what's Doogie Hauser's name, man? If, if Doogie Hauser, if this white dude was it Ed Patrick Harris, I don't know what the white boy's name is, but when he when he when he does award shows, you don't see him wearing no dress. You ain't never seen him wearing no dress. You where's where's you know you never seen Ellen, uh, with with the dildo. You never see Ellen with no strap on. You never see Ellen condoning none of this shit. It's only black people, man. It's only black people. And that's what I'm saying. Black women have the power to change a lot of this. But you cannot get mad. You can't get mad or, or, or have it become a problem all of a sudden. If you got other dude, if you with a dude and he's cheating on you with a dude. Because three, four uh, statuses ago, you supported the shit. I mean, what the, f and that's what I'm saying, man, it has not been enough, we have not had enough guidance. If you somebody that got parents that was in the baby boomer generation, 
we did not get enough guidance. And yeah, I love my parents just like anyone else loved their parents. But what parent really gave you some real guidance? And if that parent gave you some real guidance, then I salute them. That They were somebody that was not part of that baby boomer generation that was extremely selfish, did not teach us nothing. And we are seeing the... The, the we're seeing the problems with this you understand what i'm saying and see we, like i said there's not enough forums that we have of black men and black women talking about none of the issues that we really got with each other you know what i'm saying we ain't talking about these issues we ain't talking about these issues you understand what i'm saying we're not talking about that we're not talking about why you should be leaving these dusty ass niggas alone. And it's like these black black women came to tell the difference between a good man and a dusty ass nigga. And that's that's where all this shit is colluded, man. It's all collusion, man. It's all it's fucked up in the game. And when I got on my timeline, man, and when I got on my status, it's like, man, what statements am I saying that's bogus? What statements that I'm saying that is not real, true, or has some truth to it? I'm not out here bashing. With, I'm not out here bashing black women. You know what I'm saying? I'm not out here doing that. But at the same time, though, it's like, man, I'm an observer, man. I'm an observer. I see what's going on around me. And like I said, give anybody that watches this, give me, give me something saying that you've seen other ethnicities get on their timeline. And start talking this reckless shit that black women be talking when it comes to supporting this transgender, this gay and bisexual agenda. And it is a, an agenda that is being committed on black men, defeminizing us crazy. We are becoming so feminine out here. It's just that man, black, it's like black women, you got to care about black men. You got to. Black women be out here like, I don't need no black man. I don't need no nigga. I don't need no nigga. And then you think you gonna go, you gonna go to another race and ethnicity thinking that they love you and you about to make some good babies. But then you with somebody that could be practicing white supremacy or some type of supremacy. Because you can get with a Hispanic dude. Well, guess what? You got Hispanic niggas uh, joining the neo-Nazis. You can get with white people. And guess, and guess what they doing? You got a white people that are, are like these proud boys and all that. That are, you know what I'm saying? Some white supremacists. We can go down all the ethnicities, man. And at the end of the day, we the only ones we got. We the only ones we got. You understand what I'm saying? We get too flooded and, and polluted out here with, with the imagery out here that, man, it's, it's, it's got us in the matrix, B. It's got us in the matrix, man. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like, man, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you got black women out here that are saying some, 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 some shit out here, man. They being reckless. They talking greasy out here, B. You understand what I'm saying? Man, if you, if you could just check out the post that I posted, man, you got black women on my post talking crazy to me about me bringing something to their attention but i don't see none of these black women matter of fact i can go to any black woman's page and i'm not gonna say no names of who's who's doing this shit i'm not gonna do it but there's black women out here that are condoning this type of behavior and i ain't, ain't getting checked by none of these other black women out here. none of these other black women are checking other black women it ain't got to be no disrespect, like, bitch, bitch. It ain't got to be none of that. But it's like, man, if you if you saying that black men are getting exterminated out here, you got to be the one to try to check some of these women on that because a lot of women may not know what's going on. A, a lot of black women don't know what's going on because they, they have not been taught from elders on the game. You understand what I'm saying? Man, if you think that these baby boomers didn't see the future, talk to any one of them. Talk to any one of them and, and ask them when they was in the 70s, what did they see the future being? And I guarantee they saw some of the shit that was happening right now. And they didn't do nothing about the shit. You understand what I'm saying? They did nothing about it. And I get it. And you, if you can find me some baby boomers and if you don't know what the baby boomer generation is, the baby boomer generation is the generation that's about we'll go. 
baby boomer generation. It's all good, bro. Appreciate appreciate you even tuning in, my nigga. Uh, baby boomer generation, you know what I'm saying, is those that are, you know, what, 55 to maybe 70, 75 something. Give me a baby boomer right now, man, that has taught that has taught any any by any of their kids or any of their nephews, nieces, any of that, some true game. And if you know some people like that, then I salute that shit. But I'm telling you right now, man, the problem that black women are having is that, man, you can't be riding the fence, man. You cannot be riding the fence. You either going to be on one side or the other. You can't ride that fence. You cannot ride that fence. All on my timeline. The video, the video. You look at Dwight Howard. You look at you look at Young Buck. You understand what I'm saying? You got you got dude. You, you look at Bobby Valentino. You understand what I'm saying? You got people out here, man, that's getting caught up by these by these transgenders. And some of them know, some of them don't know. But my thing is, man, why ain't black women fighting and riding harder for the good black men out here, man? You understand what I'm saying? Black women ain't really doing that. We ain't having no forms. We ain't talking about none of this shit, man. There's a there's a disconnect that black women and black men have right now, and I'm not saying all of them. I'm not saying all. Because there's some real, real, trill, thorough black people out here. But we ain't getting it right, man. We ain't getting this right. You know what I'm saying? And people always, people always come at me like, well, what you doing about it? What you, nigga, at least I'm talking about it, nigga. At least I'm trying to spark the conversation. Do I want to do something about it? Hell yeah. Am I going to do something about it? I'm going to try. But it's, it's Negroes out here that ain't trying. But got a lot to say. Ain't saying nothing. Ain't talking about doing nothing, but I got a lot to say, yo. I, I can't, I, you know what, man, we gonna have to do better. Like I said, man, for all my, all my sisters out here, man, if you feel what I'm saying is wrong, then you know what I'm saying? I don't know what kind of reality you living in right now, but all up and down my timeline, I see a, I see, I see a lot of people, a lot of black women condoning the transgender, the bisexuality, and I'm not even going to say gay because you know, people get offended when you start talking about gay or whatever. But it's like, you got, see, gay people, they got options, man. They got options. And there is a movement right now for gay people to have more rights than black people. And gay people to be able to get black men jammed up. These are facts, man. There's been transgenders, like there was a transgender that tried to get genuine uh, jammed up. And if you say that you don't want to be with a transgender person, then that's like they saying it's, it's phobia, some transphobia. And you got transgender people that are not even telling people, yeah, man, yeah, I got this fat booty. I got these big, big breasts and titties, but I got a penis, though. And don't even tell the nigga he got, you got a dick until the shit's like about to go down. Now, that shit ain't never happened to me. But I'm saying the shit that I'm seeing out here, the shit is sickening, yo. You understand what I'm saying? We gotta get together, man. We gotta have some type of forum. You know what I mean? We got we, we gotta have some discussions on this, man. You can't you can't support that, but then you ready to go to war when 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 you catch some type of disease. When you catch some type of disease because some your your man then been with another man and he didn't brought that shit back to you. But you was supporting that, like, you know what I'm saying, 20 minutes ago on your timeline type shit. I mean, that's all I got to say, man. I mean, I appreciate those peeping your boy out. <laughs> Go to my hashtag, man. What the what the F is your problem, B? Catch me on J. Scott, man. ComedianJScott.com, man. I just want to get on here, man. Just say that right quick. Drop comments. Hit the like button. Share this. I'm out, though, man. Appreciate it. Matter of fact, I'm going to wave at everybody. Just, you know what I'm saying, I appreciate the, 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 the women coming in and being able to, you know what I'm saying, even if you, even if, you know, you can agree to disagree, but it's like, what, 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 let me, let me just, you know, what, what we doing out here? That's all I'm saying, man. What, what we doing? 
You understand? What we doing, man? Let's 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 get some some stuff in action, man. Let's put some some shit in motion, man. You understand? But Jay Scott, man, I'm out, man. All right, man. Peace.